I'm really excited to introduce you to my next guest, who is the publisher of a new magazine that celebrates life in rural South King County. It's called Edom Claw Living, and it's filled with stories about local people, businesses, even pets. And here is something that is right up our alley. The magazine also features recipes that are submitted by readers. And here to cook up one of those recipes is the publisher herself, Kate Morris. Welcome to New Day. Hi, thank you for having me. I am so excited to have you because I'm really, really fully into this local publication. I think mm -hmm. that it's so important for the vibrance of all of our communities to have our own local publications. But I'm really excited first to find out what we're making. Yes, and I obviously agree with your statement. <laughs> so today we are making super easy, savory cabbage rolls. Great for the season, yeah. great to keep as uh, leftovers easy to freeze and bring them back in. And can I just ask, because I think that it was told to me, it's like in the tradition of days of old when we would have local publications and people would send in their recipes. Somebody sent this to you? Yes, this was sent in by a reader. I love this. Yes. Okay, all right. And it How really it stuck to me as well because my mom and I make these and Aww. have made them in the past. So I was like, we're doing this. Okay, so how yep. do we get started? So how you get started is you take, and you can do, you know, of course, double your recipe, mm -hmm. but for this, we did one pound of meat. Okay. Uh, choose your own meat. Okay. Um, this per in particular is elk. Uh, we can do beef, you can do turkey, whatever you mm -hmm. need to do. I threw in a pound, or excuse me, a cup of white rice. And that's not cooked rice. This is uncooked and uncooked. Okay, uncooked white rice, uncooked meat, yep. uh, ground meat of whatever, you have elk, obviously. Yep. If you're in the city and you don't yep. have access, yep. you get some ground beef or ground turkey, whatever you need, and so exactly. then you mix that together? Exactly, okay. well, um, I kind of mix all at once. Okay. So I'm gonna throw in some spices. So first off, we have salt. Okay. Um, I'm kind of a don't measure kind of a gal, oh, unless okay. absolutely um, needed. Yep, and it's yep. kind of a little bit of this, a little yep. bit of that. So here's some salt. Okay. To taste, if to you To taste, will. yep. This is the garlic powder. All right. This is the pepper. Pepper? Ooh, heavy on the pepper, I see, girl. I know, I okay. know. Parsley, I'm not gonna do the whole thing of it because I'm gonna keep some for the very end to top it to make it pretty. Oh, okay. And then some onion powder. Okay. Okay, so there's your spices. Okay. All right, super simple. Super easy. Everything, and everything we all have in our spice cabinet. Yes. Like, as in, yes. yes, and okay. of course you can change it up as you need, but right. that's what we use. Next over here is diced white onion. So like, what about a quarter of an onion here? I was Maybe gonna say half? about a quarter to a half okay. I'm gonna put that of in a there good size onion. Yes, please. All right, and then this is a lot of garlic and I'm here for that. I, you can't have too much of no, it. No, I this agree. This is eight cloves. <laughs> eight <laughs> cloves and she minced this herself. Okay, yes, all right, so yes, I'll throw those in there. This is real garlic, not jarlic. Okay. Okay. Jarlic, I've learned from working on this show is almost offensive to elk cooking, the garlic. Yeah. I've finally become that person who has yeah. cloves of garlic everywhere that chops and chops and chops. Yep. But if anyone, by the way, has a good idea for like a garlic mincer, please let me know because... I've tried it, but it doesn't It doesn't work I mean, I'm me. just over here like this. Plus, I like the chopping. Day. I it's like, like the chopping too. It's satisfying It is me. satisfying, yeah. but sometimes I don't get time for that. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. All right, so now you get all in there and mix. mix it up. Yep, you mix with your hands. Don't use a fork, don't use something silly. Use your hands, get it all in there as okay. best as you can. And yes, everything in here is uncooked and raw. Okay, so while we're while you're mixing that up, sure. the cabbage, I've never steamed cabbage before. So okay. how do you make yeah. it where you can have these nice like places to make a roll? Like, yes, how absolutely. Do you do it? So you take a full head of cabbage okay. and you cut it in half. Okay. And you remove the core. Because okay. that does like you the no little good. parts. Yes. Yeah, it's like kind of like the inside of a pineapple is kind of what it looks like. Ah, uh, okay. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. Yep. So you remove that, mm -hmm. then you uh, put it in your pot of boiling water, mm -hmm. and once it starts boiling, or excuse me, put it in your pot of water, let it boil. Yeah. Once it's boiling, turn it to a simmer for okay. about 10 to 15 minutes. 10 to 15, okay, you really yep. want that thing to soak it up. Oh yeah. Okay. We want it soft, soft, soft. Okay, So copy then that. you take it out with tongs. All right. And <clears throat> Let it cool. Um, let it cool. On its own. On its own. Okay. No cool water, no nothing else. Just, Just like set it down let it and let it cool. Okay. And so. then you get this. And that's where you okay. get Okay. So I'm this. gonna roll the sausages, so yep. it's my turn to put the gloves on. Yep, yep. All right. I'm putting her to work today. All so right. here is your mix. Okay. Super easy. All right. And here are your cooked cabbage. So what you do is you take a piece, and it doesn't need to be perfect. You don't want it too thick, 
and you don't want it okay, too Okay, so thin. that looks a little thick, so like that just is. take a... Yep, that okay. is perfect. All right, so I got my... Okay. Now, take a scoop. Okay, a little scoop. Scoop it a little, little more. A little more? A little more. Okay. Perfect. Now you will roll, fold, roll. Okay, roll. Oh, I see. Yep, fold. fold as best as you can. It's not roll. supposed to be perfect. Like like a like in a taquito exactly or burrito. Exactly like this. And, and then you just set it down with the roll down. With the roll part down so it stays That's shut. Okay, it. okay. And, and then you do it again. Continue and continue. Wow. Okay. Well, I continue to make a few more of these. Yeah. Um, yeah. Tell me about this publication. What what drove you to decide to do this? Because I think that, like I said, you know, I'm here for it. Yeah. But we're not seeing more publications start. We're actually losing more publications. So. What made you decide, like, I need to make this happen? Sure. So I have always kind of had a writing sense. I used to write tons of poems and diaries and all that, if you will, mm -hmm. and in school, high school, and all the things. And then once I graduated, I did an internship with Psychology Today magazine. Oh, wow. Uh, writing for them a little bit, okay. and I loved it. And then I did my own mom blog, and mm -hmm. I just loved talking. <laughs> I'm a talker. Well, you have something to say yeah. and you want to share it. And I, and I have found as someone who has something to say is that a lot of people kind of echo those feelings. And, I, and I'm sure there's a lot of people, hopefully yeah. maybe even right now, watching us from rural South King County. What do you love about living in that area? Um, pretty much everything. Yeah. Uh, you're close to the mountains. The city is within a reachable, decent amount of time. Oh, that's gorgeous. Um, this is what I wanted to show from the magazine. I'm sorry, continue. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, there's the people. I feel like we're built a little differently out there. Oh, I will believe, I will say that. Yeah, I, it's a little different. Um, my husband and I were from Montana. Oh, and so when okay. we first went out to Enumclaw, we were like, this, oh, is, this like is our people. Home. Yeah. This is what we do. Mm -hmm. We wear cowboy hats, cowboy boots. There's farming, there's flower farms, yep. there's animals. Like that's what we know These, and that's yeah. where we're from. Yep. And I was like, this is where we need to have a publication. Yes. They are all about the community and the support yeah. and the branding and the businesses within it. You know, they love to be a part of it and the families love to read it. I, it's so, it's so great that we, Honestly, and it, there is something about that small town mentality, and I'll have to say, you know, I've been up there, I've been up many years when I was a reporter in the field. I was up in Bonnie Lake. We were there all morning was for snow coverage, and we were in a rural area. We were freezing. We yeah. had no coffee. We had no access to the bathroom. And, of course, finally someone came out and said, hey, you all, come on in. Yeah. That's I mean, exactly. that doesn't happen in Seattle too much, they I'll have to say. They hold the door for you when you yes. come in or when you leave. Yes. They, they ask I you how you that. are today. And it's a beautiful thing. that's what we... Go I see it. what you're saying. I yeah. see that. And um, so many different aspects. What is your hope for this magazine? My hope is that this magazine keeps community. Mm -hmm. uh, I want them to be excited about their magazine. Mm -hmm. uh, they do look forward to it. I hear wonderful positive feedback all the time. I want the magazine to grow and grow. Mm -hmm. uh, when we went to print in September, uh, our pages were 16 because you have to start somewhere. Yeah. They are today at 28. So yes, it's almost doubled. Good for you. Thank you. I love it. It takes some publishers um, years and years to get to that point. So good for very you. proud of it. Enum Claw loves it. I'm so glad. All right. We got, we got, we're about out of time, so we got to sure. finish this off. Sure. So this is the cabbage roll. How long do you cook it for, by the way? Top it with some pretty parsley just okay. for fun. So how long do you put it in the oven for and what so temperature? So we're going to do 350 okay. uh, for an hour and a half. Okay. Then check on it and see how it's doing. Okay. And then um, now we, you also have an au jus that you, you pair with it. I do an it. au jus that I make from a super fancy McCormick package. Hey, there is nothing wrong with that. <laughs> get it in there. Hey, we're busy. We're busy. we got to do it. And mm. then just some regular yellow mustard. I've also used spicy mustard. It's totally up to you with the au jus. You'll pour it on top of your rolls. Keep some for when you reheat, yeah. you know? Um, but that's it. Super simple. This is and it's pretty healthy. It is actually. Yeah. I was just going to say, it's pretty yeah. healthy it's and it's comfort healthy. food at its finest. Absolutely. And it's easy to make for family, for friends. Yep. I mean, I was literally, I wish you were kids. here yesterday because I was struggling at what to make for dinner. Yeah. And now I know what I'm making yep. tonight. It's pretty easy. Involve the kids in the rolling you know, thank throw in the onions. Thank you so much for yeah, coming on the show. Thank you for, thank you for being here. I appreciate Support it. our local communities, however yes. small they are. Make sure you get out to Enum Call, give it a visit, check out this magazine. And most of all, thank you so much for spending time with us today. You can check our website for more content. You can always send us an email and share your thoughts. Share your community with us. Yes, Enum Call, give us your content. Yes, and all other people as well. So yep. make sure, my friends, the most important thing you do is get out there and enjoy your new day. We'll see you next time.